my reaction after getting the information was like, am I this much intelligent so that I can be chosen in this boot camp? I didn't I could make it to here. I really felt very, very happy. When I was selected to take part of the ADCCI camp, just I didn't believe it. I thought the country is full of many bright girls as I didn't get how I was selected. When I found out that I was them among the girls who were chosen, first of all I was really surprised because I didn't think of myself being here. But I was really happy because I was going to get more information about the things I didn't know from these trainings. When I found out that I was going to join the AGCCI boot camp, I felt really blessed. I felt like a privileged girl. I had expectations of becoming a coder. Since it says the African Girls Can Code initiative, so I was like, obviously, whatever is going to happen, I'm going to end up becoming a coder, being able to write those complicated codes that I see, which is coming right now. Being selected for the AGCCI training bootcamp, for me, it was one of the last things I ever thought of. I found it to be the light. It could show me the way to go. So this training, it's being helpful for me, fun, interesting, and I'm gaining more of the information, many things that I didn't know. The world is going digital. There will be times that people will pay millions to get children trained, as we have been trained today on the backs of these partners that are here. So please pick this and run with it. Can we get that commitment that I'm leaving from here to go make a difference? Be it in health, be it in environment, be it in marketing, be it in agriculture, be it in all the areas of work, make it a duty. That's one promise. The African Girls Can Code is a regional initiative by the African Union and uh, UN Women together with ITU, supported by the government of Germany through Siemens, as well as Bedijam in collaboration with other partners like GIZ. In addition, we also have Stella that has provided the robotic kits to all the girls. And uh, also to let you know that Siemens provided all the laptops to the students, their modems, so they'll have access to internet, they'll have uh, access to the laptops to practice what they have been doing. Through that two weeks uh, camp here, they were able to learn robotics, coding, programming, uh, web development, and innovation and soft skills. I think uh, what UN Women is doing here together with surrounding government uh, is something that we want to push um, a lot because you're building the skills of the future. It's not just to become coders or in the IT sector, it will be everywhere. And maybe use the skills to change the country, the community and the continent. Over the course of this training program, we have trained girls between 13 and 14, and they are the brightest girls I have ever seen. We have conducted a research uh, saying that the world's biggest change nowadays is climate change. The main cause of this climate change are the fossil fuels that are being used. As we know, these fossil fuels are non-renewable, and hence people are relying on these fossil fuels. It's not only a problem, but also a crisis. We have a process where you can liquefy the biogas in order to be used in transportation. And we believe that this project can reduce greenhouse gas fuel between 60 and 80 percent compared to fossil-based fuel like gasoline and diesel. Uh, we encourage you towards investing in our project because we know that this is going to lead to the global development and African development at large. If our robot meets an obstacle on its way, it will stop and then it turns back uh, to where it was from. 
and this can be used by a doctor so that he can take the medicine inside it. My experience in the two weeks I've spent here, it's unbelievable. Just you can't believe that you can use your hands and make something that can just move around. Okay, now my vision now is I, I want to take part of the robotics. The experience at this camp was the best. I do think it was my favorite. We were given trainings of what we didn't know before, and even they opened our minds. Because for me, I didn't really like to even to participate in ICT or other things concerning technology. But after the trainings, I saw that you're capable of anything, even you can do it. Even if you're afraid of it, you just take out the fears and you're able to do anything. My vision is just to get engaged in technology. I want to be one of the programmers that develop very, very helpful websites and apps. And it's something that I really want to be proud of. A special thanks to our esteemed partner, UN Women for your leadership role in this HSA program all over the continent, and especially your invaluable contribution to making this particular bootcamp a success. We are very happy of what you did as a ministry, and we hope we will be able to continue this journey together. So we want this program to continue. So let's hope that we continue to join efforts to make uh, this program is a sustainable program beyond this second boot camp. This is your opportunity because, not just because you are young, but you still have time to learn. You also have more opportunities, right? More opportunities in your life, more opportunities to contribute to this country in ICT. This is a golden opportunity for you. What I can tell my fellow girls, don't fear, ICT could be uh, a field for you. Okay, what I can tell the other girls who think that ICT and coding just it's difficult to know. This industry is so interesting. Everything is just to understand and then practice what you understood. The word I have for other girls who want to take to technology is that don't have fear. Be proud of yourself. Think that you can do great and you are capable of it. Because even those ones who made them, they have just learned, even you are, if you learn and you are provided with the information, you can do what they are doing, even you can do more than what they are doing now. The skills I've already got, I feel like I wanna pass, pass them over to other girls we start doing. Because I feel like more other girls who are like me are interested in the IT industry and didn't get the opportunity to come. So I'd first, I'd like to first help them if it's possible also get to know more about these things I've learned. The word I have for UN Women, the government of Rwanda and CMS and even others, we would like to express our gratitude to you. We'd like to request that this training bootcamp had been for the great impact to us. So we'd like others, the other girls out there to meet this opportunity we've had. I can fly a plane, I can make a robot, I can be a mathematician, <laughs> but you're a girl. Yes, I'm a girl. I am a girl for variation, to create a better destination. I am a girl who can just solve problems in the future where we are coding and those codes can be used to solve our problems. Let's flap our, our wings, wings and fly together to pave a way for our sisters into STEM.